Hello my friends, it's Tammy. Welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. So today I wanted to share with you um, this new mold that I purchased from Crown Molds, Crown Made Molds. Um, and it is, I'll show you the box in just a few minutes. It's, yes, Crown Made is the name of it. And I absolutely love this mold. I love the simplicity of it. Um, it's, it's made extremely well. It takes about six ounces of resin um, to fill it up. I did not fill this one up today. Uh, probably about five-eighths full is what I put it. Um, so I'm just adding some clear resin into the mold at this point. And then I am um, taking a little medicine cup and I am adding, oh, probably about a uh, an uh, ounce or so in the medicine cup and I'm going to be using the baby blue pigment cream from Dryer Days Art Studio. Oh my gosh y'all this is so amazing. Um, if you have not tried her pigment creams they are gorgeous. Uh, you'll see that here shortly and so uh, you just want to make sure you mix it up really really nicely and then you want to make sure that you incorporate it very very well in your resin and so I'm only just making little small batches of color um, because I, I want a good portion of this to remain clear this mold was really um, really inexpensive especially for the quality of it I think I paid like $16 for it um, and it, it actually shipped out really fast all right, and one of my true standbys is um, Baja Blue from Pinata. I'm just going to want some transparent color. And when you're doing something like this, it's just for decor, it's fun to have different types of elements incorporated in it. Maybe something with sparkle, something that looks... Um, more velvety smooth something transparent and and then texture and so here I'm going to be adding um, just a, a few of these pieces of silver leaf to just a little bit of um, resin and I'm really just trying to make almost like a paste like consistency and then stirring it rapidly so that it breaks up that silver leaf I wanted kind of a um, choppy look in my silver leaf. I wanted it to look like um, the pieces were separated. And I, I really like the way it looked in the finished piece. I don't use the silver very much, but this year I'm really drawn to blue and silver together. Okay, so to my clear resin, I'm going ahead and I'm dropping in some of that baby blue pigment cream from Dryer Days Art Studio towards the bottom. And then some of the Baja Blue between my Silver Flake and my baby blue pigment cream. And so I'm just really going to begin uh, rotating a little bit um, of these colors. Now I have some of this broken silver glass from Let's Resin. It, co it comes in a two pack, one of gold and one of silver. And I love this stuff. I use it for everything. And now I'm just going to start with my second layer of colors and I'm just going back and forth how easy is that guys it's really nothing to it is it very easy I love how contemporary this mold is the simplicity of it it's just very modern and I really love it I'd say probably this is about an inch deep and so you do want to be able to pour in layers um, unless you have a, pour, a, a deep pour resin. Um, but today I am using 
uh, the Pro Art Resin by Pro Marine. Now I'm adding in some more clear. And I'm just going right down the center of it, filling it up a little bit more, letting the colors kind of do their things with the addition of that clear resin. And I'm going to hit it with my heat gun very briefly. Um, and I'm just going to just really take and play with the um, silver glass bits and also that um, silver leaf. Add more color where I need it. So simple. All right, we're going to hit it with a heat gun again and I'm going to, I've got some leftover epoxy and I've been using my angel molds. Y'all have seen me create these angels on a previous video. I will link that below in the description for you. I'm doing these just a little bit different, but when I have leftover resin, I keep my molds nearby and I'll just drop what I have left over in the red inside of these molds. And this is exactly what I've done here. So with just a little bit of clear that I have left, I'm going ahead and utilizing that. I've put some of that silver glass in the wing area and um, I'm just hitting it with the resin right now. Now it's not going to give me full coverage over these molds, but it's okay. Um, you know, when I, when I have enough resin from a project, then I will finish pouring off this mold and it will be complete and look beautiful. As a matter of fact, you will see the end result of these particular um, angels at the end of the video. And this is just a really good way to use up any leftover resin. You surely don't want to waste it. Resin is just too costly to do that. Get yourself a couple of molds or if you're an artist like myself and you do a lot of um, paintings, I oftentimes like to use resin to cover my art with. And so I always have something on standby if I have any leftover resin. If you have a hard time getting um, into some of the molds, um, some of the nooks and crannies, just take your popsicle stick. Get you something small that you can help 
coax the resin into those areas. Um, it's really important to have the right tools when you're working with resin and a lot of these molds do have a lot of um, areas in them that make it a little bit harder uh, to get into but oftentimes like here I'm just using my small popsicle stick and I'm taking the resin and I am encouraging it to go where I want it to go. Of course my resin has thickened some since I've created it and that makes a big difference as well. So that's another tip in order for you to be able to um, direct your resin where you want it to go. And I'm just babysitting and watching these pieces. I am um, going ahead and popping bubbles as I see them rise. Um, if you're new to resin, it's very important not to just walk away from your resin um, because bubbles can develop and rise. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. It's what we have. Um, this little ornament mold was one that I did off camera. Um, I, I just poured some, some of the leftover um, Baja Blue in there. All right, next day, and of course my camera did not turn on like I thought it would, and I had already unmolded my angel ornaments. And so you've seen me make some very similar to this, uh, and the video really isn't about those, but consider it bonus if you missed that but I, again I will I will tag that un, in the description and now getting out this tree so simple so simple and I love it it's really hard to see I know with my, the blue backdrop on my table but I just am in love with how this turned out and you could even take some of those um, snowflakes. I've used them before on a, a, Christmas, a Christmas tree that I did on a glass substrate. Um, and you can use some UV resin and attach that to the top if you wanted to or anywhere on this to give it some more dimension. Um, so I just wanted to give you an idea. Okay, so now I have some washi tape and some kind of aqua, aqua colors and I think I'm going to do a technique that I have watched um, Leadia Designs do before. Uh, her name is Nadia and she is a beautiful resin artist. Um, and this is uh, um, one of the techniques that she's kind of known for using the washi tape and um, some paint pens and glitter and just adorning her creations. So I'm gonna try that here on my tree. So I have two different types of washi tape. One is um, got more of a filigree, it's wider, it has more of a filigree pattern, and the other one has uh, gold polka dots on it. Now Nadia uses the um, Vitria paint um, and for me, I like it, but it's really difficult for me to squeeze it from the tubing. Um, and I have been using this Viva um, Pearl Pen and this is the color Cream. I purchased this from Laura's Art Corner. I'm sure it comes in a lot of different colors. But I absolutely 
love it. it it comes out so easy and it still gives you a nice crisp line um, at, for me this is a whole lot easier than the vitria the vitria relief paint I guess I should say and it's inexpensive and I've, I've already done several projects with this one pen and still have a lot left so I'm just looking at it what else do I want to do and I'm going to um, go back in and make some additional lines here and this takes it's just acrylic a heavy bodied acrylic paint and it it stays just like you put it it dries just like that and just like the uh, vitriol relief um, stays just the same okay here we are the next day and it is completely dry so I'm going to use my um, varnish and my chosen glitters and I'm just going to paint those in between those lines with the glitter And that is Dura Clear Varnish. It is by Deco Art. Uh, it's the Dura Clear High Gloss. And I am using Gulf Coast glitter. I believe I purchased that from Laura's Art Corner as well. It's kind of an aqua color. Beautiful. Now, I could have left this alone and not done this process, um, but I'm always, <laughs> I'm always experimenting, guys. I'm always just trying to push it to the next level. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but um, I do like the way this turned out. I loved it just the way it was before I did this as well. I think the tree itself makes its own statement. So now I am going to be using Pinnacle uh, which is a fine white glitter with um, it's holographic and it's really pretty and it's just like coloring between the lines now I'm using these small little applicators that are actually for dental care. <laughs> I purchased them off of Amazon. I got several hundred of them um, for real cheap and I use them a lot for everything. So there it is. This is what it's looking like. It's still wet. I'm going to let that glitter dry. And here's that little um, I still have lots of glitter left in my cup, so I'm just going to add this glitter into my ornament that already has the Baja Blue resin that has cured inside of it. And so I'm just going to add this little bit of glitter, and then I will pour um, more resin inside once it's dry. And if I haven't mentioned it, this little mold came from Shop Resin Molds. They had some reindeer molds. You won't see that done in this video. Um, but I purchased and when I opened the box up, I had this mold included in it. And I really do appreciate that. They have a great variety of, of molds, especially Christmas molds. That's, where I purchased my angel molds from as well, if you're interested in that. Angels are really good for any time of year, in my opinion. I um, don't think they're just for Christmas.
Y'all are probably hearing a lot of truck traffic go by. I live on a highway and um, right now the trucks are just rolling as well as the tractors across the street and um, it's that time of year where they're harvesting and getting ready for the winter. Okay, so now my um, glitter has dried and I'm just taking some clear resin and I poured it down the center of my tree. And then I'm going to take my stick and encourage it to the edge, making sure that it's filled in completely, adding little drops here and there where I need to. And I'm doming this, this side of it so that it is completely covering um, the raised painted lines that we have. So when you dome a product, you want to just take your resin from the center and manipulate it right to that edge. If you have somewhat of a little indentation on that edge, you probably just need one more small drop of resin there and it will fill that in. You can see me take my alcohol ink, my, excuse me, my alcohol and just spritz it. Um, that basically breaks the surface area so that those bubbles will pop. Okay, so I have in this small little ornament, um, I'm going to use some more of the baby blue pigment in that. And um, I, like I said before, I already have the Baja blue poured in there, which is cured. And again, with also the glitter. And I'm just going to um, pour some of this baby blue pigment over top of it. This pigment looks like blue velvet. It is so rich and stunning looking. It's hard to find a really pretty baby blue color. Um, and this one is just gorgeous. It's really to me more of a medium blue, um, even though I certainly think it classifies as a baby blue, but um, it, I, I just think it's that versatile really. And I'm just doing again what I did yesterday, is, and that is using up any leftover resin that I've mixed. All right, and here I am again the next day. It's all cured and I am thrilled with it. I'm so happy with this piece. You can see how deep it is. Um, and again, I did not go all the way to the top. I it probably around five eighths. So um, we have our angels, we have our tree and let's unmold our little ornament here. And, and there you have it. And this, there's scroll work patterned on the front of this. And um, I probably, if I had to do this from scratch and it was it was a plan to do this, I probably wouldn't have used the Baja Blue. Um, it 
it kind of darkened it and um, you really can't see that white glitter because it's laying on top of Baja Blue. But um, I'm going to take a little something and I'm going to try to um, emphasize those that scroll work on this. I have what is uh, buffing, rub and buff. It is um, basically just a wax metallic finish and um, I just take a little bit on my finger and rub it along the the high parts of my piece and it captures. There it is, the rub and buff. Um, you can get it from Amazon, you can get it from Hobby Lobby. I'm sure Michaels probably has it as well. So, as you can see, I have just, <laughs> I opened a brand new tube of it, and when I opened it, it just pretty much spritzed all over my mat. Um, I'm just taking some of it, and I'm going along that edge, and highlighting that edge. Now, when you do this, you need to make sure that you, you aren't carrying it over from your fingers to any areas that you don't want it to be. Because this is oil-based, it will stay on there, so you need to be careful with that. And so I'm just taking that with my lint-free shop towel and I'm um, just kind of pouncing it again on those high points and after that has uh, stayed on there for a few minutes then I will take um, my towel and kind of buff that off there. I have had so much fun making these and um, I really love my tree. I really, really do. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. And if you don't mind, I'd love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. I am trying to get to a thousand viewers or uh, subscribers and you could be that 1000 subscriber. Um, so share, comment, like, subscribe. I would really appreciate it greatly. Um, I'm going to show you some pictures of all of my finished work here. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for blessing me and my channel. And I appreciate you.